start mr chairman i rise to congratulate our finance minister on his budget speech there were some remark that the budget was a dull one but i am sorry i cannot agree with that remark because in spite of difficulties and other odds our government have tried to do many useful things in different fields there will always be certain groups of people disappointed at certain things but on the whole i have to say that the government have done very well i am happy to note that large sums of money have been provided for welfare schemes such as increasing the bed strength in the hospitals building new hospitals opening more schools colleges hostels etc sir an honorable member spoke about nurses if we want the patients to receive good attention at the hands of the nurses the government should see that the nursing staff are provided with good living conditions as they are not paid sufficiently we see many of them leaving the state to seek jobs elsewhere on more attractive salaries i hope that the government would give greater consideration to the nurses in the years to come i plead with the government to start homes for the aged and the incurables just as they have done in other countries i am sure that there will be generous minded citizens who will come forward to render help in this respect the case of the aged and incurables certainly deserves better treatment at the hands of the government i seek the support of all sections in this house to urge the government to start adequate number of homes for these miserable people sir the becker problem is on the increase wherever we go we see many of them no doubt the government have taken some steps in this regard but they have not succeeded in tackling this problem fully so effective steps should be taken to solve this problem there is another important subject which has not been given sufficient publicity and that is the rural development work i have seen some of these centers where very good work is being done it is the real constructive work which gandhi ji had always in mind in some of these areas we saw very fine varieties of gaudi we have also seen many other items produced in the various centers we should give proper publicity to these items i would suggest that the government may take us on a tour and show some of these places where such useful work is being done the legislators will then have an idea of the progress made in the rural development programs undertaken by the government those in charge of these centers are doing good work and deserve praise i represent the city and so i consider it my duty to put forth the views of the millions of 
people living here i wish to make an earnest appeal to the government that they should give due share of their attention to the city letter dated 4th may 1981 from money and company madurai to mrs das and company coimbatore dear sirs in reply to your letter dated 10th february we wish to state that your order for a 100 small boxes was executed strictly in accordance with your instructions you have stated in your letter under reference that you have received only 80 of them and more than 20 of them are badly damaged we wish to point out that the shortage and damage must have taken place after the goods had been dispatched from our factory we have obtained a clean receipt from the railway authorities in support of our claim you have clearly stated in your order that the goods should be sent by rail so the mode of transport of the goods has been chosen by you in the circumstances the railway authorities are to be held responsible for the shortage and damage and we are afraid that we cannot take any responsibility in the matter we are sorry that the consignment has not reached you safely but we regret our inability to own any blame we acknowledge receipt of your check for rupees 2500 yours faithfully